All I wanted was a quiet January, but of course we got a lot of transfer offers and we lost three important players. We did get, however, over 120 millions for them. And we're about to lose a fourth one. It might happen during this episode, so come on, let's do this. Alright, welcome back to Academica on FM24. Since the last episode, we've won every single game. Well, we drew away at Porto in the cup, but we've managed to knock them out on penalties. And in the next round, we're going to play with Braga, another tricky game. A 6-0 victory away at Karabakh in the Champions League. That was pretty impressive. And a 4-1 victory home against Benfica in the league. We've won every single game this season in the league. 19 matches, maximum points. 10 points clear of second place, Benfica. Yeah, what a great season. And in the Champions League, we're also top of the league phase. We drew one away at Juventus and won five matches. Today, we're going to play Chelsea home and Bayern München away. And uh, we might lose our first match of the season in today's episode. The first player to leave the club was German Acevedo, who was unhappy here to Al Raed, a club from the Saudi League, for his release clause of 44.5 million. I'm sorry to see him leave. He was only 20 and he looked amazing. Good luck to him. Now, I was pretty worried when we lost another central defender. João Muniz was unhappy because I rejected the transfer offer, I think from the same club that he eventually signed for these guys for 30 million. Yeah, he was pretty good. I thought he was going to replace Acevedo in the first 11. Unfortunately, we had to sell him. And Ryan Gravenberg signed for Juventus. He's now earning 180k per week and we managed to get 60 million for him. What a beautiful little story we had here with Ryan Gravenberg. He decided to terminate his contract with Liverpool in January last year. He signed for us for only 23k per week. He kept his head down, played his football and he earned himself a great contract at Juventus. And he made us a pretty good profit, 60 million. Of course, we had to sign someone and uh, I went for Omar Solet, 28 year old, in his prime, declared for Austria in this save on 33.5k per week. I paid 20 million for him to Red Bull Salzburg. He's gonna be first choice, of course, in central defense. I didn't need it to buy another one because we had Marco Jovanovic out on loan. I decided to recall him. He was at Santa Clara, played 15 times. He looks uh, pretty good as a central defender. He's not that brave though, but he's only 20. I found the perfect replacement for Gravenberg. Bruce Fonkel, 20 year old Dutch central midfielder from Vitesse for his release clause 33.5. But unfortunately, Porto also decided to activate and he might choose them because they have a better reputation and they're probably gonna afford to pay him lots and lots of money. I offered him a contract of 43.5k. I know it's a lot of money but at some point we will have to take the wages to the next level, right? I think our biggest problem is that we sold two left-footed central backs and we replaced them with two right-footed central backs. I hope that won't cause too many issues. That fourth player that might leave the club this January is Viktor Krokvik. We had the transfer offer from Ren, I rejected it. Then he got upset and uh, he requested to be transfer listed for his release clause. Now, if I was managing Ren and uh, I saw this guy available for 40 million and I had the money, I would definitely sign him. Yeah, great player. If he leaves the club, however, I'm not gonna buy another striker because we have Jan Garcia out on loan to Real Valladolid and he looks better. But I hope Krokvik will stay. So like I said in today's episode, Chelsea and Bayern München in the Champions League and Benfica on neutral ground in the semi-finals of the Allianz Cup. So here's the first 11 that's gonna face Chelsea, Messi, Allengol, Helio, Solet, Fonseca, Hurtado, Morten, Sokwis, Klepac, Oeda, Berani and uh, Krokvik. I'm gonna use Helio on the left, he's in good form. We do have Jonas, but Coca is out injured. 20 minutes and we get our first highlight. Morten. We are unbeaten this season in all competitions. Hurtado. Oh my word, what a shot from Klepac. Helio now. Helio. 
Oh, another good save. Hurtado with a throw in. We're unbeating this season, but we might lose our first game this episode. I mean, we have Chelsea, we have Bayern München away from home. And let's not forget about Benfica, but what a season we're having. Unbelievable. Well, Helio to Kanak. So uh, let's bring in Jonas for him. Here's a so quest to Morten. Good ball to Helio. Come on, dude. Barony back to Helio. Lovely. Not exactly Morten. Oh, we lost the ball there. We get it back, of course. Krokvik. Come on, dude. His 17th goal of the season. Yes, he's on fire. And despite being unhappy, he's still scoring goals. 1-0. I don't know who Woodman is, but they still have Chilwell, Stones, Sterling. Yeah, we're in front at half time. Keep it up, boys. Hurtado, don't lose it. Don't lose the ball there. Fonseca, back to Hurtado. This looks dangerous for us, to tell you the truth. But we managed to keep the ball. Here's Oeda, Oeda to Soquist. Deflected. Come on, 2 nil. Sokwist is another player that was wanted. The thing is, all these wanted players didn't want it to negotiate a new contract because they were wanted by bigger clubs. Except for Klepac, who recently signed a new contract. A corner. Morton is going to take it. 2-0 against Chelsea. This is pretty impressive. Krogvik. Morton. Krogvik again to Sokwist. Uh, so close. That's a goal kick. 60 minutes on the clock. Solet to Jones, here's uh, Barony, loses the ball to James, now Stones. Yeah, they have a great squad. Sterling, compared to ours, I mean. Oh, it's going to be a goal for Chelsea. No, what a huge opportunity, my word. 20 minutes remaining, come on boys, do not concede. Enzo Fernandez, for him. oh, Solet, dude, that's your mistake there. Yeah, let's make some subs now. Yeah, Hurtado is pretty tired. So I'm going to improvise here. I'm going to play Morton there. Gomez comes in for Hurtado. I guess Neto is coming in for uh, Klepac. Had a great game, but he's also pretty tired. And uh, Martins for Barony. Oh no, don't tell me they're going to equalize. Come on, boys. We were tuning up. We were tuning up, boys. So quist. A chance for a counter-attack. Neto, fresh legs to Martins. That wasn't that such a great ball, but whatever. Krogvik controls it. Martins again. Martins. Neto. Ooh, close. Close. Okay. 15 minutes remaining. Come on, boys. Stokwist is uh, pretty tired as well. He's gonna stay. I don't have a choice. Five more minutes to go. Sure, let's waste some time here. Play for set pieces and shit. And uh, hopefully we won't get any more highlights. We're in stoppage time. And we've managed to beat Chelsea. Yes, come on, got three points here. Right, next is Benfica in the semi-finals of the Allianz Cup. We have a problem as we have to play 221 Portuguese players in the starting 11. So Bruno Alves is going to play up front. And they made uh, a couple of other changes. Melro comes in on the right. Uh, Gomez is the D-line playmaker. And oh, I have to play Schmidt in goal because he is our cup goalkeeper. And you know what? Let's play Jonas here on the left. Yeah. So Quist. With a free kick, he's the crossbar. Huge opportunity there. I trust Bruno Alves. He doesn't look that great, but he played all right when I used him. Solet to Fonseca. Come on, dude. Hurtado. Seven minutes in, and uh, we already hit the crossbar. Hurtado. And this is our second highlight. Gomez. Oh, lovely move. Melro. Did he save it or did he hit the post? He hit the post. It said there in the commentary. That's not a penalty, it seems. We are the better team uh, in this first half so far. We are controlling the game. Here's Gomez. Oh, Gomez, dude. Dude. A chance for a counter-attack now. Good opportunity here for Benfica. Ooh, what a huge opportunity. And... Uh, Schmidt did well. Good save there. Sole moving forward with the ball. Here's Barony. Come on, dude. Didn't play that well against Chelsea. Here's your chance now. Loses the ball. Gets it back. Jonas. Soquist. Soquist. We're in front. Let's go. His eighth goal of the season. What a player. Oh, no. Jonas got injured. And we also have Coca out injured. 
tell you as to play there. I had uh, a loan offer from Socho, who is uh, one of our affiliated clubs for Segovia, our fourth choice central defender. On loan until the end of the season. I thought about it, but I decided not to accept it. Segovia can play on uh, the left as well. So uh, he's a good fringe player to have around. Gomez. Alves, Soquist, to Barony on a yellow card. You make it to good save from Andre Gomez. We got a corner. Barony is on a 6.4. Soquist takes the corner. Decent cross. Now Klepac. Soquist again. Soquist. Oh my word. I thought it was in. Nine shots free on target so far for us. Only one shot on target for uh, Benfica. Schmidt had uh, a quiet game. Yes, let's uh, sub off Barony. Tony Martins is coming in. And uh, that's all for now. 20 minutes remaining. We controlled this game. And we deserve to go through and play another final. Helio. To Hurtado. Shoot, dude. Hurtado over the bar. So close. Another good chance for us. Yeah, Soquist is dying on the pitch, but he's on a 7.7 .7 rating. He's taking this free kick now. I think he's gonna go for it. And he's gonna be over the bar. No, played it to Alves. Back to Soquist. Decent for Solet. Alves, my word, what a shot from uh, our young striker. Hit the post, dude. Well, actually, the goalkeeper managed to get his fingers on it. Because it's a corner. Seven minutes remaining. What a shot from Bruno Alves. They have Verbancic? You know I wanted him at some point, right? It's this guy, I think. Yeah, they have Verbancic. But he didn't want it to sign for us back then. So he went to Leipzig. An opportunity for Benfica. 89 minutes on the clock. Come on, dudes. Do not concede now, please. Hurtado does well there. But they still control it. It's the post. They hit the post too. And it was a pretty good chance there. How did he miss it? I don't know. Morton is coming in for uh, the last few seconds of the game. We've done it. We've made it to the final by knocking out Benfica. Come on, boys. Fonseca, the best performer and probably the man of the match. Oh, he decided to join us. My word. Yes, dude. Come on. 34 million. Another record. This is pretty awesome. The guy decided to reject Porto to sign for us. Now this kid knows who's the best club in Portugal right now. Anyway, he's our new player. He's not going to play uh, against uh, Bayern München because he's not registered, of course, for the Champions League. So we're going to go with Messiel, Helio, Solet, Fonseca, Hurtado, Gomez, Soquist, Morten, Oeda, Berani and Krokvik. Koka is still out injured and now Jonas will be unavailable for the next two or three weeks. There's no pressure on us to win this game or get anything out of it. We already qualified for the round of 16. However, this match is important because we didn't lose a single game this season. This might get to be the first one. Fonseca after 16 minutes with our first highlight takes a free kick. It was a poor taken free kick. Oh my, oh my, we're one nil down after 16 minutes. Well, Bayern München do have something to fight for. 8th place, well actually now they moved up to 3rd, here's a Barony to Maciel, 26 minutes on the clock, don't make mistakes please, or oh, they are uh, pressing really high here, if we get away with it, oh boy, oh my word, I, I, come on dudes, come on dudes, that doesn't happen that often, stupid mistakes like that don't happen that often. In real life, I mean, because in FM, it happens all the time. 2 nil down after 27 minutes. We look miserable. A good ball here to Barony, though. Come on, dude. We got one back, or maybe not. Yeah, goal disallowed. Crying out loud. You know what? I'm going attacking. Come on, boys. Let's get back into this game. Let's score a goal before halftime. But it's Bayern München. It's away from home. My word, they are going to spank us. Davis, 3-0. It's 3-0. We are back to reality, I guess. Yeah, it's 3-0 at halftime. I'm going to thrash my arms. You've been terrible, you idiots. And I'm going to make some substitutions. Let's give Marco Jovanovic the second half. Bruno 
always up front and Carles Soeda gets subbed off for Melro. I think I'm gonna bring in Segovia after this free kick. What a save from Masiel, my word. Yeah, so Luis Segovia is coming in for Helio and Neto for uh, Gomez and let's switch this guy with Morton. We're approaching the final whistle. If we take a look at the stats, of course, Bayern Munich deserve to win and deserve to win by three goals. Our best performer was our goalkeeper who have a 7.4 rating. So our unbeaten run comes to an abrupt end, really low at Bayern Munich. I'm not too upset about it. I mean, it's better than losing to Benfica or Sporting in the league, right? We already qualified for the round of 16 and that's going to be next episode, of course. In the meantime, we might lose some other players. I'm expecting Krogvik to leave the club by the end of the transfer window. Right. So I'll see you guys for the round of 16. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button. I'll see you for the next one.